We're here with UMass's Emil Iguanagu. Emil, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Uh, thank you for having me. This season you're going to be lining up for the Minute Minute tight end, which I guess is your third different position in three years. Are you excited about the move? Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, me moving positions uh, definitely helps me out. It helps me understand the offense better from a different perspective. So um, I think all the moves that I've made on offense have just helped me, better me as a player. Yeah. Now you also played H-back, and then you've been a running back and linebacker. Yeah. How, how difficult is it, as difficult as the college game is, how difficult has it been on you to learn all those different positions? Um, I mean, it's difficult to learn the positions at first, but um, once you begin to understand them, it helps you understand the whole concept of the offense. So uh, I think it's just helped make me better. Now playing on both sides of the ball, is there, is it, is there one side that you like better? You like playing on offense? Or defense? Um, I, I like where I'm at. I like offense. How about uh, being able to tight end? Are you excited about being able to, to catch the ball and, and be able to do that instead of uh, hitting people on every play? <laughs> exactly. Um, I like to uh, at tight end, I like to uh, spit out a little bit, um, catch a couple balls. So it's definitely not a bad thing to do. Now, in, in uh, high school, you were one of the top uh, top high school running backs in Massachusetts, over 5,000 yards in your career. Yeah. Uh, is it different now where you're on the line blocking for running backs, or do you still wish you were carrying the ball a little bit? Um, it's it's obviously different um, on the line blocking, but. Um, Playing tight end, you get to catch the ball, so you get to work with the ball a little bit yourself. So um, it's definitely a good thing to have both. Now, Five thousand yards—that's a ton, a ton of yards <laughs> in high school. Yeah. And did you ever think? Could you ever see yourself in those days where you, you know, kind of had that kind of career in high school, being a lineman and, and playing on the line a little bit? Did you ever um, see that happening? No, nah, I, I didn't really see that happening. But um, just when I came to college, it's, it's a different game. Just make transitions and. Um, had to make a transition to uh, tight end, and I like it. Yeah. And during your first year at UMass, the, the, the Minutemen won the CAA championship, advanced to the playoffs. How, how motivated are you and your teammates this season to get back to the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Um, that year, I redshirted, um, but seeing that team make it to the playoffs and win the conference was definitely a good thing. Um, it definitely helped motivate me, and it, it gives me something to look forward to to accomplish myself. What, what are some of the goals that you guys have set for the season? Is the playoffs kind of in the NCAA championship kind of going into the season? Is that kind of goal number one for your team? That's always a goal for our team, um, making it to the playoffs, CAA championship, and um, national championship as well. Um, we always set those on the top, but um, to get there, you have to win every game you play, so you take it week by week. Yeah. When you look around this conference, when you see that the, you know the last two national championships, the last two national champions have come out of the CA, do you kind of get the feeling that you know that, that hey, if we can compete in the conference year to year, that once we get to the playoffs on the national stage, we got a chance to get that national championship? Exactly, because um, the, the CAA, I consider that the um, top conference in the FCS. So um, knowing that you can play in the CAA helps you um, know that you can make it to the national championship. I think it's a good thing. You guys, uh, UMass and New Hampshire playing at Gillette Stadium on October 23rd. Talk about the, the excitement that you and your teammates have about playing in that game. Um, that's definitely a good thing. Um, I'm a mass kid myself, so um, I hear a lot of people um, going to that game. So it's just a good thing for New England to be able to play in New England's um, stadium, having two New England teams um, play over there. Are you a Patriots fan? Of course. So playing playing on the same field as uh, the guys you've watched for long is that going to be uh, that's going to be a pretty neat feeling I'm guessing. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a good thing to look forward to. All right, Neil, thanks for joining us today. Enjoy football media day. Thank you.